First caller. Yes. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa right, alaikum Yes, uh, I have been a Muslim for about three years now, and you were talking about the differences between your right hand and your left hand before. Right. Uh, I feel that has been something very important in my life because uh, I feel that's a pathway. Allah sent me the message because ever since I was a little boy, I would always say, for instance, with my right hand, I would eat my food, brush my teeth, and then with my left hand, I would jerk off and wipe my ass. Trolling public access television shows with ridiculous prank calls is an art form as old as time. If you've never seen the Filth Lovers channel on YouTube, a channel that compiles old prank calls to public access television shows from the 90s, I would highly recommend checking it out. But what if I told you there was a public access television show in the 2010s whose intentions were to get trolled as much as they possibly could? This is the story of the Jesus Chatline. The Jesus Chatline started broadcasting in 2011. It was broadcast online on Justin.tv and Montclair Public Access TV3. Apparently. I did some research into Montclair Public Access TV3 and I don't think it exists at all. The show was hosted by Stephen Shilton and Richard Burnish and was portrayed as a Christian call-in talk show and was in an effort to promote something called the Neon Bible. The Neon Bible was a rewritten version of the Bible for modern audiences written by Richard Burnish, one of the hosts of the show. And I believe the name Neon Bible is a reference to an arcade fire album called Neon Bible. And the theme song for the Jesus Chatline was a song called Neon Bible off this album. In reality, the Jesus Chatline was a brilliant parody of Christian talk shows and this is highlighted in some of its hilarious early broadcasts. Some of my favourites of these earlier broadcasts are the Funeral Edition and the Prison Edition. The Funeral Edition takes place one episode after Stephen is hit by lightning and explodes, but is luckily put back together by a team of extremely skilled scientists. The Funeral Edition episode consists of Stephen pretending to be dead on the couch, as Richard tries to host the show on his own without cracking up, or as he puts it, crunching himself. However, he is not successful in this at all. Especially when one caller calls in to talk about how he wants to be cured of his homosexuality, and Richard recommends that the caller tries P90X. Which I believe is like a high intensity cardio workout, so that's going to cure him of his gayness apparently. But the caller responds saying he struggles watching P90X because he wants to fuck the host Tony Horton so bad. Which I mean is, you know, understandable, because just look at Tony go, like, 61 years old looking like this, like, fair play to the guy, like, that's just, that's white excellence. Not in, like, a Klansman way, but, like, you know. And just when you think the episode couldn't get any more ridiculous, apparently unaware of the fact that he's on camera, Stephen comes back from the dead to eat a piece of pie. In the next episode, the prison edition, Stephen and Richard are put in prison for faking Stephen's death in an effort to get money. Somehow they're allowed to broadcast another episode of the Jesus Chatline from their cell so they can get donations to make bail. And my absolute favourite part of this episode is that Stephen keeps bending down to speak into a microphone that makes his voice deeper and he begins mimicking the voice of an African American man in an effort to convince the audience that they're both cellmates with a rapist. Also the very shittily green screened prison cell background is just perfect and adds to the absolutely ridiculous vibe of this whole show. The Jesus Chatline continued to do their thing being the internet's most beloved trolls and the show became infamous on 4chan slash B and had reoccurring troll callers from B. One of my favourite of these reoccurring callers being a man called Randall. Randall was a guy who was just trolling them by playing on gay stereotypes. When Stephen died in the funeral edition he made Richard bend down and search his pockets for like a locket that was good luck to show that he was going to heaven but the joke was just uh you know Richard was grabbing his dick. The Jesus chat line ended in 2012 with Stephen pouring a bottle of vodka over his head screaming I have fucking had it with this bullshit after a year's worth of hard trolling episode in episode out but this would not be the end of us seeing Stephen Shilton or Richard Burnish being the trolls getting trolled. After the end of the Jesus chat line, Stephen went on to host a show called Rumbled Feathers. This time instead of parodying Christian talk shows, it was a parody of political talk shows. My absolute favourite episode of Rumbled Feathers is the episode in which, in a stunt to get more viewership, Stephen becomes a juggalo. 
He was really method acting as well, because you can see the one bottle of Fago in the background. Rumbled Feathers eventually ended, but Steven wasn't quite done after Rumbled Feathers. He became a new character called T Rucker on a brand new show called Hall and Ass. Hall and Ass was like a right wing Colin show for the blue collar working class American man to air his grievances out about today's crazy PC world. Or at least that's what it appeared to be. It was just another opportunity for Steven or T here to be trolled as much as possible. The show was pretty funny, like all his other shows, and featured a lot of Steven, or should I call him T, ranting to his callers and viewers about how cocked America is today and whatnot. Steven Shilton, T Rucker, whatever you want to call him, at this point had cemented himself as an absolute internet legend with his works on the Jesus chat line, as well as Rumbled Feathers and now Hall and Ass, but something very unfortunate happened in late 2018. On October 16th, 2018, after battling cancer for quite some time, Jay Walco, the man behind characters like T Rucker and Stephen Shilton, passed away. When I heard the news, I was absolutely devastated and rewatched all of the man's amazing work. And if you haven't checked it out yet, please do. It is so funny. The legacy Jay left behind him speaks for itself. Jay was an incredible comedic talent, and if you haven't seen any of his work on shows like The Jesus Chat Line, Hall and Ass and Rumbled Feathers, I cannot urge you enough to check them out, seriously. But one thing you have to remember is, during the era where Stephen Shilton was going solo, doing shit like Rumbled Feathers and, you know, Hall and Ass as T-Rucker, his co-host of The Jesus Chat Line, Richard Burnish was nowhere to be seen, and people were wondering, what happened? And where is Richard Burnish? Well, fans of the Jesus chat line would no longer have to wonder in 2019 when Richard would return on an Instagram livestream reminiscing about memories of Jay and talking about how he has ideas for a future project that could be a spiritual successor to the Jesus chat line with him carrying on the torch. This idea for a future project that was in a similar vein to the Jesus chat line would manifest itself as The Ark with Richard Burnish, a new Christian call-in show hosted by the one and only Richard Burnish, one half of the greatest trolling duos of all time. And if you are a fan of the Jesus chat line and you haven't checked out his new show The Ark yet, I would highly recommend checking it out because it's absolutely hilarious. And if you've enjoyed this video and are new around here, I'm Louie and I make videos about strange internet related topics on this channel quite a bit. So if you want to see more of that, please do subscribe and check out my other stuff. But more importantly than that, I'd like to dedicate this video to Jay Walco and thank the man for all his amazing comedy over the years. I'm going to crack open a good old fashioned dad's cream for him and would invite you all to do the same. Thanks for watching.